93.5. Rook and Jubal's second date update. I haven't done a lot of online dating, or any really, because let's face it, I don't need to. <laughs> no. no, it's because you don't want to take people on actual dates. It's their second date update. <laughs> I bring up the thing about online dating because Lydia's done it before. How do you decipher who you want to go out with and who you don't want to go out with, just based on reading their profile? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm not an expert on it. I've not had successful dates. Really. <laughs> you had a boyfriend out of it. That's true. I guess that counts. But all he was basically the first person that talked to me. And I was like, yep, all right, yeah. I'm in. And he was kind of a turd. <laughs> so anyway, our second dater today is named Dylan. Dylan emailed us about a girl that he met online named Natalie. What's up, Dylan? Hi, guys. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. So what did you like about Natalie's profile? Oh, just about everything, really. Oh, First off, like her pictures. Uh, oh, yeah. She very gorgeous. She's, yeah. Oof. <laughs> okay. That's the obvious one. <laughs> what else did you like? She said she liked good listeners, right. and I love to listen. I'm a, I think I'm a really good communicator, so that was good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my gosh. You are adorable. <laughs> Your email says that you went on a very interesting date, but you didn't go into any more detail than that. Would you mind explaining what you mean by you went on an interesting date? Oh, sure. Okay, so in her profile, she said that she likes surprises. So I thought I would surprise her with flowers. Okay, that's, uh, that's a nice thing to do. Yeah, I heard chicks dig those. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. it's right. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went out to do some wine tasting. Ooh. And that went well. And then afterwards, we went out to uh, look at some homes, some houses. What? Some houses? What? Are, Are you? you what? <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Did things move that well yeah. on the first time? <laughs> This thing is going awesomely. Let's buy a house. I have a good credit score. I could probably get us approved right now. Are are you like in the market for a house or something? How'd how'd that come about? Well, you know, looking at houses and stuff like that, there's like always like a party or like they have hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that. And I thought it would be nice to go check out all these really expensive homes. (laughs) That's kind of genius. Plus, I brought a camera and I had all the realtors there take pictures of us throughout these different houses. Oh, no. (laughs) Because it would be cute. To have pictures of us at all these different places. Yeah. So you went to crash these parties or these open houses and had them take pictures of you guys like you were a couple looking to buy a house? Yeah. No wonder she's not calling you back. Slow, that is weird. Question? Slow down. That could be funny and fun if she was into it. There is someone for everyone, and this girl may be into something like that. Yeah, maybe. maybe. She so to... what did you do with the collage? Then you put it in your shrine? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just sitting at my house right now. Dylan. On the pillow right next to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dylan, are you prepared for your lovely date to possibly make fun of you as much as Jubal is? I'm hoping that she will make fun of me. I don't think there's a whole lot to be made fun of, but okay. You don't, okay. you don't. Well, just you didn't get a You didn't get a vibe from her like she was upset at the end of the day at all. No, I, not at all. I, I thought she had a great time. Okay. Okay, and she doesn't know anything about the collage, you guys. Come on. Dylan, is this the first time you've made a collage for a girl? Yeah, like I saw online that some girls that like it, they think it's sweet. Uh-oh, he's oh. been reading Pinterest. Yeah, oh. don't do that. Oh. <laughs> oh, All right. That is kind of cute. <laughs> Hi, <Ed. laughs> All right, we're going to play a song, come back, and get your second date update, all right? Just hang on for about three and a half minutes. Thanks, guys. Give you some time to tweak that collage a little better. Come on. <laughs> Hold on. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings, second date update. I feel like I need to apologize to our second dater, Dylan, who is still on the phone. Not because I made fun of him for the collage that he made of the girl, but Dylan, I apologize for making fun of your date. I think it's actually a really good idea to do what you did. Oh, Thanks. You're yeah, welcome. but Dylan, he's not complimenting your like creativity. He's complimenting your free food. <laughs> yeah, it, that's exactly what I'm complimenting. I thought about it over the song, and if you're just tuning in for the second date update, Dylan took a girl out on a date. He met her online. He ended up taking her to a bunch of rich homes who were having open houses so they could take advantage of the free snacks. And then they took a bunch of pictures there and acted like they were together. That sounds kind of fun and cheap. They, they I still am creeped out by the collage you made for her, Dylan, but I think the date idea was a good idea. Yeah. I was thinking, guys, like, over during the song, I mean, you guys seem to really not like that collage idea. <laughs> yeah. So if you could not mention that, <laughs> oh. that would be great, because uh, if she doesn't know about that, I think that would help my chances. I, yeah. Well, I can't promise you anything, Dylan. Like, oh. uh, we don't even know if she's going to answer the phone. Can- but if we get her on, I promise you'll have a chance to ask her for a second date, and we'll try to state your case as best possible, okay? Okay. I'm going to call her right now. Positive thoughts. Let's see if we can get her on the phone. Okay. Hi, 
Hello. Hi, is Natalie there? This is Natalie. Hey, Natalie, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning on Moving 92.5. This is the radio station? Yep. How are you? I'm good. Why are you guys calling me? No, I just want to chat with you for a little while. I like you a lot. <laughs> Google. No, I'm no, calling. What's, uh, what's going on? I'm calling you because we got an email about you. Okay. <laughs> you remember Dylan? Mm-hmm. What do you think of Dylan? First of all, I, I liked him. He's 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 very sweet. If I had to pick one word, I would say sweet. What did you think about the date that you went on? You know, I have to say it's probably one of the most unique dates that I've ever been on. Did you like the home tours you guys did? I know you went wine tasting and then... Oh, my gosh. So he told you all about the date? Yeah. Well, I thought it was cute. It was a little different, and I thought he put in a lot of effort. Right. I don't know if you guys do any online dating, but a lot of these, it's just kind of like you go for a drink, you might have a bite to eat, and then it's like, okay, are we going to hook up or are we not going to hook up? Right. Uh And I didn't get that vibe from him, which I thought was actually, like, he was very chivalrous, you know? I thought that was nice that he did all that extra stuff. Well, Natalie, if you liked him, why aren't you calling him back? You know, I'm actually on the fence about it. It's only been three days, so I've actually, you know, been talking to my girlfriends. And, um, oh, it's only, it's only been three days? It's only been three days, okay. yeah. Oh. I guess we never asked him that. Yeah, I think he, he called, like, he texted maybe once or twice, and then I think he called once or twice. Is okay. it too much or no? A, a little bit, but not bad. But you said you're on the fence. What is stopping you from returning his call? There's something about him that may be, like, a little bit neat. You know, I tend to kind of go for a little bit more of a bad boy, and oh. he's a little reserved. And Natalie, what if I get you to talk to Dylan right now? Well, what do you mean? Dylan, say what's up to Natalie. Uh, hi, Natalie. Hi. <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. That was a little rough to hear, uh, but besides all that, like, I thought we had something yeah, a little special, and I would really like to go out again with you. So... We could not plan something. We could kind of go off the cuff. I if like that. That is more your style. You're, you see, like, this right now, like you're being too sweet. <laughs> Natalie, you know how sweet he is? How sweet? After you guys went to look at all those open houses and took those pictures, Dylan went home and made a collage out of the pictures. He put them all together and with Elmer's <laughs> glue and lots of love, I'm sure. <laughs> what? Dude, why did... Oh, wait, wait, time out, time out. Did you just say the word collage? Yeah, you made a collage of all the pictures that you guys took at the open house. <laughs> Are you serious? Yep. So you went and you got the pictures developed, you brought them home, and then you cut them up and put them on a piece of paper with glue? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was an afternoon project, uh, but you see now how wrong that was. Okay, I don't know if I can handle so... that. That's a little over. That's a little over the top, Dylan. It was an afternoon project, though, Natalie. Come on, leave it alone. You know, some people garden, some people make collages of people they like. You know what I mean? <laughs> see, I don't know if I'm supposed to like if you're like my soulmate or if you're like. Some creepy guy right now. That's just I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It, well, I I see now that it was it was wrong. It, it, that was that. You're right. That's a step or two, maybe three over. You know what is considered normal. So uh, <laughs> not it, uh, not a thing. I'm, I'm I am going to burn it. I'm going to uh, throw it away. So it, I'm going to keep a couple pictures though because. Some of them are actually pretty nice. That's, but, uh, that's weird. Yeah, that is. And I believe this was a good learning experience, and I will not do that again. <laughs> well, Natalie, we'll pay for you guys to go on a second date if you'll go out with Dylan again. Dylan, you're too sweet for me to refuse you. You're very, very sweet. You just got to just beef it up a bit. Okay. Uh, something to work for. <laughs> Dylan, there it is. Maybe. That. Dylan, can we at least hear an attempt at you being like a spontaneous or a little bit of a bad boy right now? Spontaneous? Um, uh, can I get a minute to think about it? No. no. <laughs> how about in your sexiest voice, Dylan, you tell Natalie how hot you think she is. I mean, it's a little, she, I mean, honestly, she's, it's a little overwhelming. She's very, very pretty. Um, Ooh, she, wow. Sexy. wow. Sounded like Barack Obama sexy talking right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Save, save the sexy voice for the second date, okay? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Put me on the spot okay. there a little bit and that's uh... <laughs>
Not, uh, oh my God. I got to work towards it. <laughs> Dylan, you got it, man. I, I'm not worried about you one bit. I know it's in there. I know there's a tiger deep inside you ready to escape. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning.